What's up guys, Pippy Dean here and welcome to episode 26 of my road to Manchester City and today's episode is going to be pretty big because we have lots of things going on but let's look at our transfer list. We have sold a few of the Migidis that we bought before for about a thousand coins each which is not amazing profit but it is pretty good profit and if they do go up I'm going to be a little bit annoyed but uh, I feel like he's going to go for around 1k, 1.5 around the Irish Cup but as you see right there we sold a bunch for a thousand coins we also went ahead and put a lot of coins into investing as you see right there bought myself a bunch of Maxwell's got myself a second inform Koscielny because I feel like he's too cheap right now and just a bunch of inform investments but don't worry that's not all we did because we went ahead and made some huge huge signings and you're about to see who the first signing is probably the the biggest signing we've made throughout the whole series and as you see right there second inform De Bruyne no third inform De Bruyne at right mid 89 rated paid 315,000 for him which to be honest is not something I really wanted to pay for him because he was going for 200,000 at one point but it is what it is sometimes you don't buy at the right time and that's what ended up happening so we do overpay a little bit but if he does get upgraded he will go up in price and over here went ahead and bought Torre also got him for a little bit overpriced he was going for 30,000 at one point but I paid 34,000 we also have some transfers that came in. Bratton right there. He recently came back on loan from Bolton. I think we're going to loan him out once again because uh, I don't see him starting. We also get Daniel over here, a new striker for a thousand coins, which is going to be vital to our second team because we now have two strikers in the second team. Of course, the magician, Merlin the magician. David Silver over here picked him up for 16,000 he is going to be a great addition to the team also and over here I'm going to show you guys a quick nice little deal I picked up on Ike Bonlahor got him for around 1,700 coins which is a pretty good price considering he goes for around 5,000 or 6,000 so we're going to go ahead list him up and we're going to head into the first game of the episode but before that we obviously have to change the teams and if you guys remember before, I had a 41212 on the first city squad, but I have to change it to a 412122 so we can get De Bruyne in here. And you're probably wondering, dude, what are you talking about? De Bruyne is a right mid and you're playing him at center mid. Well, my idea behind this was I wanted to have Yaya Torre and Fernandinho on the team because I feel like Fernandinho is way more defensive than Yaya Torre. And having him, having Yaya Torre at CDM while having Nasri at left mid wouldn't have been too great. So I put Fernandinho at CDM, Yaya Torre at center mid, and yes, De Bruyne is only on six chemistry, but he will be at seven once we get the loyalty bonus. We also go ahead and make some changes to the second squad because we are going to have a pretty better second squad now. Navas comes in for Delft. Nasri comes in for uh, Evans, I believe that was, and Zuccolini is actually going to replace Manu Garcia, which is going to be a little bit painful to say goodbye to Manu Garcia, but we ha it had to be done, and I'm pretty sure I'm still going to use him as an impact sub every so often, but as you see right there, I did put Daniel at striker. We now officially have two strikers. We don't have to force Iheanacho and Boni to do extra work now. And they should do be doing better when they play because they're going to be on higher fitness. But we're going to go ahead and play with the second squad first because they are on higher fitness than the first team. And I know you're probably saying, oh, come on, I want to see De Bruyne. I want to see David Silva play. Don't worry. In the second game, we're obviously going to play with them. And I'm just as excited as you are. So we head into the first game of Division 6. If you remember last episode, we started off pretty well in Division 6. We won like every game I think so far and hopefully now with a better team we can continue that and we come across this guy which made my jaw drop because I couldn't believe this team was in division six and all bronze side 34 chemistry and not only that but he had a bunch of players out of positions I mean come on he's got a goalie playing striker we, and I just felt like this was a gift from the EA gods. And three minutes in, we would have a chance over here. Navas takes a long shot, but it goes over the goal, and he has a goal kick. And now, this is really weird what's about to happen. He passes it to his defender. His defender passes it back to the goalie. The goalie runs into the net, and before the ball crosses the line, he pauses it, unpauses it, pauses it again. I don't know what's going on at this point, because the game just started. And he quits. And I'm like, uh, okay, disconnected. I don't get the win. But I ended up getting the win. It said I scored somehow. I, don't, I guess the ball went over the line at some point. I have no idea how. He rage quits. We have a goal. And we get the win. 
So a free three points that I'm not going to complain about, but wow, that was very strange. And I don't, I don't think that's ever happened to me. Those teams you normally see on Division 10 when you normally just start the game. But in Division 6, I feel like that was just a gift from EA. We head into the second game with the second city squad again because they didn't even get a chance to play on that last game, really. And we come across this guy who's got a much better team, obviously. And it was going to be difficult because uh, he does have some pretty pacey players with some great dribbling and passing and he would get things started early on over here in the fourth minute great pass right there from Aranguiz to Muller who finds a cross over here a little bit of a lucky deflection and luckily for us Chicharito couldn't get on the end of it right there on the rebound so got away right there from conceding and over here in the 16th minute we would have a chance Zuccolini to Donio Donio is going to give a great pass to Nasri pretty good pass right there from Donio crosses it into Navas and Navas finds the back of the net and I really thought Navas was going to mess that up right there because once he controlled it with his chest I thought oh no he's gonna lose it but uh luckily he did manage to find a shot and uh, find the back of the net so we have the lead pretty early on over here and we find another counter attack over here Thierry Ambrose threw on goal but Dante with a terrible terrible tackle right there he was the last man he didn't get the ball and that's always going to be a red card so he's down to 10 men he loses a center back which is extremely crucial in this game when I normally say that uh, getting red cards is bad but it's even worse when it's one of your center backs because you're down to three defenders and your left backs and right backs tend to be more attacking so it's just it's like stabbing yourself in the eye really but uh, as you see right there from that free kick we didn't really get much on it with Nasri right there but we do get the ball back over here he fouls us with Navas right there or I thought it was a foul because he came in from behind maybe he just stuck his leg through uh, Navas's legs right there and he ends up scoring on the counter attack and I was extremely annoyed with that because he literally just finished getting a red card hits us on the counter attack from a free kick and uh, not only that, but Caballero did actually save it a little bit right there, and it went in. And I really think that was Caballero's fault. That really may have not gone in if it was hard, but um, it is what it is. I know um, Caballero's not one of the best goalkeepers in this league, so I can't really complain. And in the 36th minute over here, 32nd minute, Zugolini sends Ambrose through. And Ambrose, just showing why he is crucial to this second team, takes a shot from far out finds the back of the net and gives us the lead and Ambrose right now has an assist and a goal so he is doing pretty hot this game against a good team and as you see right there he would have a great chance hits the post unfortunately though and from the corner he almost scores with Aranguiz right there unlucky not to have scored right there and it went over the bar so we head into the second half with a 2-1 lead and uh, it is a pretty close game anybody's game to be honest uh, the only advantage that we have is the fact that we have one more man than him. But uh, it was going to be a difficult second half and hopefully we can grab ourselves a third goal. A quick look at the stats right there. As you see, we have more possession, but he has more shots. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's just back and forth. And if I don't find the third goal, he can get himself back into this. And early on, literally right off a of kickoff, we go on a run right over here. Fernando beats that guy right there, gives it to Navas. Navas with his pace runs down the wing. He's going to give a low cross. And Donzio, who makes his debut, gets himself a goal. And that is something I was really happy for because it's not often that the players get a goal on their debut. And it's not even, it's even less rare that a bronze gets a goal on his debut. But uh, Ambrose is showing that he wants to be the better bronze as he goes and grabs himself a second goal right there. Pretty good finish and a pretty good pass right there from Zuccolini. And from that goal, you can already see that his defense is a little bit open down the middle. So I was going to try and take advantage of that. And things only got worse for this guy because you know what happens? His second center back gets sent off. And at this point... If he doesn't make a sub, he is done because he's down 4-1. He literally only has his left back and right back and maybe his defensive mid to uh, defend for him. And as you see right over here, here, it's just too easy to break him down. He has no center backs. Ambrose chips the goalkeeper, gets his hat trick, and definitely the man of the match. So just a tip for you guys. When you get your center back sent off, you need to make a sub because you will pay the price if you don't, especially when you... This guy, he was just very uh, slide tackle friendly because he was like slide tackling a lot. But it's not often that people get two center backs sent off. But if you ever do, 
you need to make subs because you will get destroyed. And we win that game 4-2-1. Ambrose gets himself a man of the match and rightly earned because he had a pretty amazing game. Nashri got two assists though and so did Zuculini. So we get three points for 4 0 0 0 in Division 6, which is a way better start than we had last season. And before we head into the second game over here, we will see that the Agvon Lahore has sold for 6,000 coins. So a nice little profit on that should help us get our coin total up a little bit, especially that it's so low right now with everything in our transfer list. But we're going to go ahead and head into the second game, the game you guys have been waiting for. And I am excited, nervous, and I really thought that if I lost this game... I'm not saying that I didn't, but um, if I lost, it would have been pathetic because you guys would have been like, oh my god, you have that team and you lose. But we come across this guy who is going to give us a run for our money because he does have some pretty good players in there. Pogba, Yaya, Otamendi, Chiellini. So he has a pretty strong side, arguably better than ours. And in the second minute over here, David Silva with his magical feet right there, just dribbling past every single defender over here, has a shot on target. But unfortunately, on his right foot, the weaker foot, he can't find the back of the net. And I have no idea how Yaya Torre didn't score that rebound right there. That felt like it was just a easy goal. But whatever, we'll let him slide. And over here, he goes on a counterattack right there. 3v1. And that is one of the reasons why Fernandinho is my CDM. He has a high defensive work rate, which is something Yaya Torre does not. In fact, Yaya Torre has a low defensive work rate. And right there, as you saw right there, Fernandinho just saved us right there from conceding because he defended that pretty well. And I'm pretty glad that I am playing him at center defensive mid. And over here, De Bruyne trying off some skills. Ian Otra gives it right back to him and great passing play between the team over here. Yaya has a shot, bounces back to Yaya, but Lloris doesn't want to let him score. De Bruyne says, you know what, yeah, yeah, I got you, finds the back of the net. And on his debut, Kevin De Bruyne gets himself a goal, which is something I really wanted to see for him because we did splash out a lot of money for him. And in the 62nd minute, he would have a chance over here. But he goes in with a terrible tackle with Kyle Walker, and he already had a yellow card. So he would get himself sent off. He now is down to 10 men, and I don't know what's with the red cards this episode, but these guys are tackling a lot. And that would be all she wrote because nothing happened after that red card. He tried to attack. It wasn't too easy for him. And he really didn't mess up too many times defensively. And I really couldn't find the second goal. But we get ourselves a win with the debut of Yaya Torre, David Silva, and De Bruyne. Uh, overall, I feel like the best player that episode was pro that, that game even was probably David Silva because of his dribbling and passing. De Bruyne... I really feel like a midfielder card of him, not right midfielder, would be better, but time will tell how he plays, and as you see right there, we did sell a button for 30,000 coins, which is a pretty nice deal, and to end off the episode, we are going to open the packs that we get every Sunday night, and that button, by the way, I bought him for around 20,000 coins or so, and we sold him for 30k, which is pretty nice profit, considering that I did get a few of him. And we don't get a bad pack this time around because we get Gaetan and Mertens, who I know aren't expensive, but they're better than the usual stuff we get. Go ahead and open the second pack. Probably going to get nothing this time around, and we don't. But uh, we get the coins, send everything to our club, and this is going to end this episode of Road to Manchester City, guys. A bunch of signings made, and I'm only excited for the future. And we get ourselves a loan pack, which is very, very weird. I've never gotten a loan pack, and we're going to go ahead and open that before we end that episode, actually. And uh, I really don't care who we get in the loan pack unless we get a city player and we don't. We get Courtois, which is kind of funny because we already have a loan Courtois in our squad. So we go ahead, combine the contracts, which I didn't even know was a thing. And anyways, guys, this has been episode 26. My name is Pippi Deed, and I'm out.